I'm Randy Miller. I currently serve as the president of Iowa Soybean, representing 40,000 Iowa soybean farmers. My family farms south of Des Moines, about 40 minutes in southern Iowa, District 8 of the crop reporting districts. We raise soybeans, corn, pigs, and run a cow-calf operation. We started the year, we thought we were in pretty good shape. We got a, a few beans and some corn planted early, and then it got cold and rainy, and it was mid-May to late May that we got finished up planting corn and soybeans. So everything was pretty good through then. We had some, some more rain and the temperatures warmed up. Crops came up good. We had good stands. Got to the 4th of July and, and things looked really good. Probably the best crop we had had at that point for quite a while. After that, uh, we didn't get any rain until the middle of August. We went about six weeks without rain. So through pollination and, and when the beans were flowering. At state fair time there, we got two inches of rain. That uh, really perked the crop up. But I would say overall crops are gonna be average, somewhere in that 45, 50 bushel range on beans and 150 bushel on corn. It'll be all over the board. We'll have good corn, marginal corn, soybean yields. The thinner soils took a pretty big hit. They're gonna be a little less, but I think overall our crops will be pretty good this year. Our marketing plan, we kind of try to start early and sell some of our crop before it's ever planted. It gives us a chance to market twice. We can market before we plant our crop and have some of it sold ahead, or we can, we can store that crop and put it, sell it at a later time. It gives us a little more flexibility in, in what we do with, as far as marketing goes. On-farm storage accounts for about three-fourths of our corn and two-thirds of our beans. We'll sell the rest of that. That third I talked about earlier that we sell up front is that portion that we can't store. And then the, the, other, the other portion is what we would sell from usually January through June. Today I was able to sign a proclamation with the Taiwanese delegation. They're going to purchase approximately 100 million bushels of soybeans. And for the Iowa soybean farmer, that's very important. Those relationships with these foreign buyers have been cultivated over years. This is just a, a way that we can show each other that we appreciate each other's business and the commitment we have to each other for the Iowa farmer to, to provide a safe quality product to them and them to know that they have a good quality product to take and, and feed their people. The Iowa farmer has always been cognizant of what's going on in the rest of the world. We've always been worried about feeding the rest of the world. We kind of strive to be the one that is the main supplier of soybeans for the rest of the world. Our sustainable, healthy product that, that comes from uh, family farms that be shipped all over the world, whether it's from Grays Harbor or out the Gulf of Mexico, we have a reliant source that is good for all parties involved.